Okay. Ready? How important was Cameo Parkway to your career? And how strong the company were they? Well, Cameo Parkway is an independent label in Philadelphia. And I went and auditioned for all of the major companies and I got turned down. So the only place I had left was to audition for a man by the name of Bernie Lowe, who was the owner of Cameo, which later became the Cameo Parkway. And I auditioned for Bernie and uh, he liked me. He signed me to a contract. I had three songs that never made it. And I figured, you know, my recording career is no good. I was really happy playing drums. The fourth song they wrote was a song called Kissing Time. And that was my first hit, summer of 1959. And I, you know, I to this day, I go back and I thank Bernie Lowe, Cal Mann, and Dave Apple. They were the, they were the minds of uh, Cameo. Cameo Parkway, and uh, they were very, very good. When I look at the, the, the uh, one gift catalog, it seems that maybe they're an overlooked label, like sort of underrated, because they had quite a few people on it, quite a few hits. You know? Oh my God, yeah, I don't know if their label was underrated. You know, they don't get the attention that the you know, like a bigger label would get. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, all I knew, all I knew about Cameo. Cameo Parkway, whether it be me, Toby Checker, the Orleans, the Novells, Dee Dee Sharp, the Times, you know, you put a, you put a needle down the press and you knew immediately it was a Cameo Parkway song. Just like if you put a needle down on a record, you know it came from Motown. Oh, right. You know, and you know, Cameo had that sound. They had a wonderful cadre of uh, artists. You know, oh my God, yeah. yeah. Sure. You know, I heard a new version of Sway done by the Pussycat Dolls. It knocked me out off my feet. Never heard it. Fantastic. Pussy, the Pussycat Dolls, they're a British female group. Oh, yeah, I heard it. Not aware. They did it Sway. Oh, my God. I your I, is it on YouTube? Yes. I got the Pussycat Dolls. Yeah. I got to look at it. Uh, yeah. 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 I know Dean Martin covered Sway. Yeah. 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 I, I call Ann uh, every couple of months, so she'll call me and I'll call her. You know, The last time I talked to Ann was when uh, Roger Smith, her husband, and I called her and gave her my condolences, and she told me, she said, well, Bobby, she said, thank you, but you remember how sick you were, and I said, yeah, I certainly do, but we have been, we have been, we have been remained, we've re remained friends since 1963, when Bye Bye Girl was made. She's a great girl. And Bye Bye Birdie, when they redid it? I uh, well, the, the remake of Bye Bye Birdie was absolutely crazy. Excuse me, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, that's it. Okay. They gotta go.